when Obi Wan there early in the uh, third, and you got two quick power play goals. It's kind of a game, right? Yeah, I think um, for us, just going into the third, we knew that they took the momentum a little bit in the second, and um, it was just we wanted to build off the the good first period, or at least the first half of the first period that we played well. So um, we got those power plays, and um, you got to make those count in scenarios like that. And um, hopefully, we can continue to do that on special teams. In the two games against these guys on last two weeks, you guys had five goals on the power play. Have you ever heard of such a thing? I mean, maybe maybe back in junior or something like that. But um, I think for us as a unit, we're not so much worried about the statistics. We just want to make sure that we're getting that chemistry back, um, working the puck well. And I think even tonight, um, our middle guy on the power play was very useful. Uh, Nas on ours and then on the other one as well, making sure that he's in the right spot at all times. And I think that's just very important in order to um, continue that good puck movement. So. Oh, 100%. I mean, um, yeah, he bailed me out the one time, especially on the two on one there and obviously made some made some pretty incredible saves. So um, no, he's he's been lights out for us here. And um, hopefully he can continue that. And um, it's awesome. We have such good depth in net uh, again this year. So um, it's great to see that they're they're contributing for us for sure. Yeah, it'll be a cool, cool experience, I think. Um, take it all in for um, for what it's worth and just going to a new rink, new city, obviously. Personally, I've, just, I've never even been to Seattle um, in my life. So um, just, I guess, uh, just take it all in, enjoy it, and uh, have a fun one. All right, thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh. Just as a key, what is the mentality you guys are bringing to keep putting up the wins without it being a big win tomorrow? Yeah, I think for us, it's just um, worrying about the one thing we can't control, and that being our worth, work, ec- or work ethic. Sorry. Um, so... It's just, I think tonight we got away from that a little bit in the second period, and then we started getting back to it in the third. So um, I think when we play to our identity like that, uh, not many teams can can kind of stop our play. Thanks. Hey, you guys. I know you didn't like the call, but they're late in the second period. You guys have been going five on three. You get called for interference. You didn't like it, but you made up for it. Period yeah, I know. I didn't like the call at all, really. I mean, my opinion that happens, you know, 20 times a game. So, um, you know, however they saw it, I got the penalty. It was unfortunate because, you know, felt like uh, power play was moving tonight. Uh, but we came up big in the third period, and that's when it really counted. <clears throat> Uh, well, you know, I think that's been attention to the detail lately. I mean, um, just trying to execute better, uh, more tape to tape passes. I think the guys that we have out there have been, you know, communicating a lot and, you know, just trying to, um, you know, dot our I's and, and cross our T's. So just trying to execute at a high level. We got the skill set out there. It's just, you know, about, you know, executing the game plan. And, you know, tonight was, uh, I think, one of our better nights uh, on the power play. Without Kemper and what he did at large stretches there at the end of the first and the second, uh, it could have been a different game. Absolutely, for sure. Uh, second period, they, you know, kudos to them. They, they they played well tonight. I think they gave themselves a chance, uh, especially in that second period. I felt like they, you know, tilted, tilted the ice a little bit and Kemp's made some, uh, you know, outrageous saves for us that uh, really picked the bench up, so. Uh, you know, we were able to capitalize on that energy and, you know, that's what we need from him. He's, he's capable and uh, especially, you know, w- without a healthy team, we're going to need that. As a team, you guys have done some so that in six of your last seven games. Is this the team that we all expected to start the season? I think so. You know, it, it, I think we're still, you know, moving in the right direction. We're not quite there yet, but, uh, you know, we are only 15 games in. So, you know, this isn't the team we're going to be two months from now. Um, you know, obviously you guys know we've, we've hit some bumps in the road early and it's really, uh, really tested us and, you know, fortunate enough, we were able to, you know, come out, you know, 50, 50 on those games. And now it's time to turn it around and, you know, start, start, uh, you know, putting some wins together. Individually, I think your Stennis only streak is seven games, second longest in your career. Mm-hmm. Uh, just overall thoughts about the streak. I mean, it's fun for sure. It's, uh. You know, I got to, you know, shout out my line mates and my teammates for, um, 
you know, I'm, I'm playing with some great players. I just got to make the plays I'm capable of making. You know, as an offensive player, when, you know, when you're hot, you're hot. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of riding that wave right now. And I understand it's a bit of a roller coaster ride in terms of production uh, throughout an 82 game season. But for now, you know, I love where my game's at. And, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to get better. All right, thanks, guys. Against the Canucks last week with five of eight. That's like video game stuff. It seems like it's not an NHL team typically does. Well, there was a lot of hard work that went into that from our group, I think. Um, because we had some early power play struggles with our teams in, in so far in this short season and um, guys have been digging in. It didn't come easy for us tonight, but we stuck with it on a few occasions and were able to capitalize on them um, on a few nice plays from our guys. So I'll give them credit. I mean, they put the work in behind the scenes and practice in the video room and, and it's starting to come together without a, a few of our regulars in there. So guy, other guys are stepping up and, we get different contributions from different guys here tonight, and the power play and penalty kill were definitely a huge part of that win. Yep, yep. Yeah, I, lo I love them tonight. I think he's getting better and better every night. Um, definitely seems to have turned a corner and really elevated his play here when we've needed him most. Um, and you hit the nail on the head. Like I thought, our start was was excellent. Um, guys were skating and working and, and winning races and winning battles, and it it led to a lot of ozone time. We get the lead, and then you know the middle thirty minutes of that game belonged to the Canucks. I thought they were the quicker team, the hungrier team, the, the heavier team. Um, but I did like the resiliency from our guys to kind of stick with it and stick with it. it wasn't coming easy for us, and then we had a good third. So. Um, you know, you you fall behind and you're on the road, but our guys wanted it tonight and they, they went to work for it in the third period and had a good period. Points and six at the same game, I believe. Uh, I assume a streak like that uh, is basically building confidence for a lot of guys, right? Well, I think the picture on how we have to play and, the, and, this, and certain things that we have to do and um, is becoming more clear, even in tonight's game. Um, those details and the, and the work within the details of our game was there in the first 10, 12 minutes, and it went away for a while. Um, and then we got it back, and it, it, it's a, it, you know, it's a fine line, but it's a big difference in, in the way we played in the first 10 and the last 20 compared to what we did in the middle 30 of that. And and give give Vancouver credit. They made a push, and teams are going to do that. Good teams are going to do that. And um, the, their push just lasted a little bit too long for my liking, and I think for all of our guys' liking. And they were able to kind of work their way out of it. And it just starts with, a, with you know, um, a little bit more second effort and – um, making better decisions with the puck and, and and the game started to turn our way. So, I mean, even even that, not just game to game, but just within the game today, I think it, it should help paint that picture for our guys on what we have to do to be successful. I think they're understanding that. Not to take an obvious contrary, what do you like to well, his checking game's been really good here recently. Um, committed for 200 feet, uh, and he's managing the puck better than, than he was earlier in the year. And he's kind of bought into that too. Like it's it's something we've been talking about a lot as a group, and and he's one of the guys that we we need to rely on here with, especially with McKinnon out and Comfort out. We're missing a couple centermen, and um, you know he's he's really elevated his game in, in, in those areas and it's leading to success for him from a production standpoint. Um, so that buy-in is, is, is not, not just team it's as individuals as well. And, and he's been better in, in a lot of those areas and it's showing up for him. So, you know, I think it's pretty clear the way he needs to play in order to have success. And, and it's same with our team, but that's, that's the type of recognition we want our guys to have. And we want our team to have is they all have specific things that they have to do that, that have made them successful in the past. And that's what they have to do on a nightly basis. And the consistency of it is what's been hard to find and always is hard to find, but recently he's been really good. Thank you, Gary. All right, thanks.